Cheering at the University of Arkansas is definitely one of the greatest experiences I've ever gone through. The atmosphere is amazing. I love cheering in front of the fans and calling the hogs. That's my biggest tradition and I love it. It's the coolest thing ever. I think without Gene Nail, there would not be a spirit squad program, mascots, palms, there would be nothing. She is the backbone of the Spirit Squad. She's an amazing woman and she puts a lot of time and effort into it. Miss Jean Nail is from Fayetteville. She was born and raised in Fayetteville. And then she went to the University of Arkansas and met Mr. Mike Nail. He was our broadcaster, our basketball voice of the Razorbacks for 29 years. And at age 32, she actually went back and got her master's degree in um, education. She's been there for 30 years, and for the first 28, she did it all by herself. Cheer, palm, and mascot. Her spirit groups and what Jean means to our program is very, very vital. I think the spirit, the palms, and you talk about the mascots, the Hulk, uh, Razorbacks, uh, I think they go hand in hand in what we do. Just energetic, and, and trust me, they really they really push that crowd to a different level. And, uh, and thanks to Jean Nell for all her direction and what she does with that group. We're the only group at the University of Arkansas that goes to almost 90% of each other athletic event. We're at volleyball, gymnastics, football. Basketball, tennis, wherever we are, we're supposed to interact with the fans because that might be the only Razorback event they ever attend and we want to make sure that it's a positive event. We're there for the fans because she taught us that they support us, they're our supporters, and we wouldn't be anywhere without them really. G also thinks outside the box a lot of times. Someone brought to her an idea about cheerleaders or dance squad at baseball and together with the marketing department, um, they developed our Palm Squad, which we now call RBI Girls, to dance actually on top of the dugouts during the baseball games. It's just been a huge success. Um, the baseball fans love it. And also, we have our big red mascot. You know, it's a big, mean, menacing mascot. They're looking outside the box of different ways to get little kids involved. So that's when they came up with the concept of suey and pork chop for the little kids, you know, just to play around with the little kids, take pictures. It's not as scary as Big Red. Well, we are always about, I would say, a good two and a half hours early to everything. We are always early, we're always, you know, on time, ready for the unexpected. Uh, she would just come up to us and be like, y'all, we need to get here, we need to hurry up and wait. <laughs> we're never late, and we're always looking right. Guys always have to stay freshly shaven, girls always hair done, makeup ready. Lipstick. You can never have enough red lipstick. She goes, girls, make sure you put more red lipstick on. Always red lipstick and more and more and red lipstick. I've never seen Miss Jean without red lipstick. It's comforting. Traditions are, that's what Arkansas is about, I feel like. We have alums that come back and they watch us and say, I did that when I was there and that's so cool. My mom went to the University of Arkansas and it's great to be able to relate and say, I did that too, you know, we can kind of find a common ground. Jean's been a great mentor to me. Um, when I first came in, you know, I knew all the aspects about stunning and stuff like that, you know, and crowd cheering, but she taught me so much more to look outside the box, what the administration's really looking at, and kind of made me go in a different direction on how I approach coaching to make sure we're hitting all those aspects. Another thing that I've learned from her as my mentor, that no matter what comes our way, we can modify and adjust and move, move on in a positive way. And it's almost how you handle those situations that makes you stronger. Relax. She goes, just breathe, walk away for a second, walk back, and then think about it again. Just that one advice, probably the number one advice she's ever given me. <laughs> I think that the energy comes from just her love for it, for the Razorbacks and for the program. and. We kind of feed off of each other. Um, whenever they hit a stunt or hit their turns and they're excited, we get excited. It's just kind of a, a domino effect, but definitely it comes from her love for the program and for the Razorbacks, too. You look back the last 30 years, when you think about a building, 
She is the foundation, and every single year she's been there, she's been putting building blocks, building blocks, to make it the greatest stadium, the greatest place on earth. Without her, it would just be another, another game without all the excitement and all the joy. Um, she is the greatest gift that the Razorback program could ever have. One, two, three, go!